morning class 103538. My name is Christian Guevara and for my persuasive speech I wanted to go with this topic in which is how migrant workers have helped shape society for the better. Migrant workers have been here in the U.S. for a very long time. They have traveled from many places worldwide and the reason they seek sanctuary here in the U.S. is because they want to find better opportunities for their children and themselves because everyone has their own stories in life, you know, and it's very complicated in a way because we have never been in anybody else's shoes. So um, I want to start off with how um, it has shifted to this situation where many people have went out into the real world and researched based on how many of these people and how their stories have surpassed them to become to where they are now. So for my first cited um, form, um, I did Jason Richwine, an American commentator and author. Um, he basically implies how the U.S. has a shortage based on agriculture and how it has affected the U.S. in many ways. Thankfully, we have the migrant workers that come from Mexico or other places like China, India, wherever, and they have helped in many ways. They start off in low-wage laborers because they're not able to surpass based on work ethics because they don't have U.S. degrees or any sort of um, school stuff or they don't even have like tax records. So it's very complicated in a way for them to find anything in life. That is why anything benefits them in a way, any opportunity they will take it. And it has became very hard for many to find these opportunities because you know, like, you have to, like, as a U.S. citizen, it's very complicated to, like, get a job. Imagine for someone that doesn't have the things you have, you know, it's very hard. But um, then I want to start out based on the education. Um, education is something that many people seek. Um, migrant farm workers and families who get left behind by Ingrid... Homequest and Santa Malik is based on the story of this man named Willie, my bad, Winnie, who has been in the U.S. for a very long time as a farm worker and has finally gotten his green card. In this research, um, I learned so many things about him. Um, he had a partner way, way um, long time ago. And Winnie, as a laborer, like, has the opportunity to go back home with his green card while his partner didn't really have that option. So his partner um, wanted to go back home after all that hard work and stuff. And sadly, he wasn't able to make it. His corpse were found laying on the floor, passing the borderline. Sadly, um... That is one of those situations that happen based on the U.S. Migration and Customs Enforcement. Um, <clears throat> it's very hard because U.S. power has led many to take advantage of it. Rather than being very civilized with people, they treat many as animals and just, you know, like take advantage of their power. And we as a people, we should help acknowledge those people, such as migrant people that come and just want to have a living. But the thing is, um, it's to this point that many just have these stereotypes based on these people just because of things that many others that have migrated to the U.S. have caused, such as drug dealing, sex trafficking, prostitution. You know, and many don't really want to do all that. They just want to come to the U.S., find better opportunities for themselves and their families. And, you know, like, it's very hard 
to be targeted and discriminated when you're trying to run away from all those things that happen in your hometown and yeah like I as a Hispanic person I understand the things that many of these people go through because I have family that have been through that in the past and everyone's stories are way different and it's very very sad the fact that you have to like find a way to come to the U.S. by, like, sneaking in here, like, you know, it should be more of a, like, a welcoming towards these people that want to start a new chapter in their life and come into the U.S. to find better options, and, yeah, um, for my next site, I went with Migration and Human Rights by Vitalo Robert, um, it's basically based on how he, went out and got his research and found out that many people in the U.S. who are, um, who don't have any documentation have had this situation that they have been working in the shadows and it's very hard for people to like, you know, like it's already hard from the start and it's to the point that they have to work in the shadows and get paid under the table because they don't have any like records of anything and you know they have to be paid like by cash and it's to the point that many workers they just put their heads down and just work and they don't complain about anything because like they don't want to throw everything away and some are very afraid because they like feel like they're gonna be like you know ratted on and migration is just gonna come for them and stuff and yeah it's to that point that they're really desperate in in these top situations and for them to be targeted and discriminated and to just be put like put down in a position that they can't even speak for themselves is very hard and we should just like help acknowledge these people and show remorse based on how much like stuff they've done to get to where they are and yeah um for the next topic, um, I did research based on Shamad Midyanis, a frameworker of cultural sensitivity in which believes that 86.9 students have persevered. So on this topic, it's based on education. And it's crazy because many students in the U.S. are more based on Latino, Asian, and Black because, like, you know, like, everyone comes and their parents bring this option in their life in which allows them to like have a better life compared to how they had it so yeah like for this to be the percentage of hispanic um culture and like their school-wise situations um it's very very like you know it's very great the fact that many people like have this opportunity and get to like become this way because of their parents like I don't know y'all but like the fact that their parents actually did all this for them is very like very good and you know like not all parents have done this like in our position but for these people like it's such a good thing and they have to go home and feel happy about their accomplishments in life all in all, um, immigrant labor workers have overcome many obstacles in life in order to gather opportunities and benefits. And it's the fact that they have like the option to finally come into the U.S. and make a new life, you know. And yeah, like it's very complicated for many people, but we as a people should help understand and help these people to the point that we can, you know, like, make them feel welcome instead of targeting them and discriminating them based on stereotypes. So, yeah, um, I've had some situations in the past that many people have had towards me. Like, there was a time that my car stopped and there was immigration um, border patrol that came to my car and started, like, you know, making the sirens and stuff. 
I paused the car and because I couldn't even turn it on so I was going back and forth and it just wouldn't turn on and then the border patrol just came out of their car and they just like came to me knock on my window and just say hi we just noticed some suspicious action like we just want to check because we don't know if you have any drugs inside your car and I was just like what the heck like out of all the things you guys could have simply asked me like hey like is there something wrong like we've just noticed that your car or something no they just jumped to conclusions and it's to the point that people my skin color have to be rev revolved based on that it just hurts you know and it's like other things like you know those like videos that come out on like social media based on like people that are just trying to purchase something and there's just like people that are from the u.s that just like start making these like rude comments like oh go back to where you came from and if you're gonna speak spanish like you can't be speaking spanish because this is the u.s like no like we as a people should help many feel equal and you know like not put anyone in a position that you are higher than them it's all together or none and yeah um thank you for listening to my speech i had a very fun time researching all of this. Um, thank you so much and have a great day, everyone. <laughs>